Hi, I'm Christine Cushing, and welcome to another helping of my favorite foods. Today, we're on a journey of low and slow braising with the ultimate in comfort food. It's fall off the bone, melt in your mouth tender, a little smoky, spicy, just a kiss of maple, all in perfect harmony. Get ready for maple chili short ribs. Let's go. Be sure to turn on your bell for notifications on future videos because they're going to be good. You don't want to miss them. If you've never tried or made beef short ribs, they are fantastic. So this is again in the category of inexpensive braising cut that's loaded with flavor and can do so much for you because really the oven's doing all the work or the heat is doing all the work. Let me show you these short ribs. So these are what I call English style short ribs. So the beauty of the English cut, which is the single bone that runs along, you'll see it there the single bone that runs along, you're gonna get one flat bone. That's the thing about the short rib. The bone is actually flat, flatter actually, the, the longer it goes. So when we braise these, they're gonna pull apart from the meat and because these are really marbled, it's probably gonna disfigure quite a bit. But remember what I promised you. I promised you melt in your mouth, fall off the bone tender. We are braising, so that's a moist cooking method, a lot of moisture, but it's not boiling. There's a big difference between that but look at that marbling. Sometimes you can get it a bit leaner, but this one is definitely quite rich. Okay, are we ready? Before we start cooking, I wanna season them, a little kosher salt and some pepper. My short ribs are seasoned, so I'm just gonna get a little mise, mise en place, all my things ready before we head over to the stove. So I wanna add one onion, which I'm gonna just slice. Just a couple of cloves of garlic again. And you don't have to worry too much about this. This is just getting it in the pot to braise and kind of render its flavor, no biggie. Spices, I'm going in with kind of three spices that are gonna really kick things up. A comment that I get often on my comment section is, you use a lot of spices. Spices are so incredible and you can take a dish so many different ways just by adding three interesting spices. So here I'm going with allspice, coriander seeds, and twice as much mustard seed and I'm gonna grind that up in my mortar and pestle. I'm leaving a little bit of texture actually. Ah, already phenomenal. Now, you may have noticed at the beginning I said maple and chili, so I'm taking these short ribs in a bit of a different direction. We're going a little southern, like southwest, with a few chilies, but we're also going a little east. So the maple is gonna contrast a little bit with another ingredient. Here, these spices are gonna give us some nice warmth, and they're gonna be added just before the braising starts. All right, my meat is seasoned, salt, pepper, got my onions, garlic, mise en place done spices. I just wanna grate a little ginger and chop my chipotle. And just an FYI, chipotle, which I love, love saying, it's a smoked dried jalapeno. And you can buy them this way, just already dried, which I did, and I rehydrated hot water 10 minutes, actually boiling water, or you can buy them in a little tin in adobo. Either way, totally good. All right, so let's chop that baby up. any sinus issues, just chop a little smoky hot chili. Everything is good. I should bottle this stuff for sinus. Look at that baby, deep, dark. Spicier than a regular jalapeno. It's definitely spicier. We're all set, go into the stove. So step one is browning the seasoned ribs. They're gonna go in. We wanna hear a little sizzle-arama. Now, all those beautiful spices and ingredients are really going to meld together in this low and slow process. 
I think so many people, when they talk about braising, they confuse it with boiling. So what's the difference? Why is this pan shallow? What I would call a rondeau in the French kitchen. It's because you're not going to fully cover the meat. You're going to put a little bit of moisture, whether it's stock or water, and then you're going to put a lid on it. So it's going to steam and then gently simmer. You don't want to bring this to a crazy boil and like, it's not boiling. That's what braising is. Here's some sizzle. I'm going in. And this will take like four or five minutes, really, depending on your pan, depending on your heat, depending on your hair. Okay, so they're beautifully browned on all sides. I'm just gonna remove them so that I could just give the onions a little bit of a sweat. Again, I'm showing you all the essentials. I like to kind of really dig deep. I don't like to just throw something in the pan and just do a Hail Mary. This is really about understanding why you do each thing. Now you're gonna notice there's a bit of fat already in this pan. The short rib is very fatty, so I could strain this off now, but what I'm going to do is try and deal with that fat later after I've cooled down the sauce. So in here, guess what's going to happen? We're going to put in all those beautiful ingredients, the mise en place that I did before. So onions, garlic going in with the ginger, just to take that little bit of residual heat, ginger. She's pot left. Now here these onions are gonna cook down in the braise, so I'm not too concerned about cooking them much. I just wanted to pick up some of those little crispy bits and give it a little sugar here. Oh, it smells so good. All right, tomatoes. I'm using a passata or chopped tomato or a tomato puree. Soy sauce. Umami and salt and depth. Here comes the maple. Canadian elixir. I love maple syrup. And water or beef stock. These babies are going back in. I lay them bone side down. Remember when I said before what the braising is? You see how they're not fully immersed? They're peeking out, they're about two thirds covered. Then when the lid goes on, they're gonna also steam. So braising has to be at a lower temperature and just a gentle simmer and it's gonna be good. Last thing, remember what's gotta go in. All those beautiful spices that I talked about. My oven is set at a still 300 degrees Fahrenheit. I like that lower temperature again, so it's gently simmering. It's going to be two, two and a half. If you want them super crazy fall off, three hours. They're going in.
wants to taste the maple chili ribs. I do. Okay, so I serve this with some beautiful mashed potatoes. The aroma, ridiculous, is all I'm gonna say. Ridiculous. I got dibs. I'm picking this one. Don't worry, there's lots of good ones left for you, but right now, I'm picking this beautiful, oh, mama. See, I can skim already all this fat off. So after I developed all that flavor with the onions, the garlic, the ginger, I don't want to waste it, right? So that's why I pass it through the china cap. Now, if you use a fine sieve, you're not going to get that same ability to actually get pieces of those onions and that onion and garlic in, right? So now I've taken away the majority of the fat and then you got this crazy sauce. Look at this. Oh, smell is crazy. You know what's going to happen now, right? Somebody is going to have a bath in this sauce, Mr. Short Rib, right here. chopped chive. This is all for color, for, for flavor, and to really bring this dish way up. I found some mild chilies, also this red color, and again, it's going to just say, hey, there's something a little bit spicy in here, but they're, they're mild, but they're not a sweet chili. And a little pea shoot, because I felt like it. Here it is, your maple chili Short ribs, plate looks amazing, so appetizing, colors, I just want to dig right in. And I'm going to. Ribs time with my knife and fork. I promised you fall off the bone, melt in your mouth tender. Check, check, delivered. Wow. If you catch me drooling, don't be upset. There's a reason. Seriously, though. Seriously. So tender, so fall off the bone. All of those things that I said, and it's in perfect harmony. It's not too spicy, it's not too sweet. It just feels like, oh, this is the way you want to have your slow braised ribs. Thanks for joining me on another helping of my favorite foods. Let me know how you love this recipe. You're going to need a bib. You're going to love it. And if you want me to make the Miami or Korean style ribs on the queue for the summer, that would be awesome. Please subscribe, check in with me, comment. I'm here to help you out. Thank you. See you next time in my kitchen. Bye.